Hey, hey, hey! It's Star right here, and welcome to my train of thoughts. And welcome to another podcast episode. I'm actually recording this as I'm doing my Bible study, and after a while, I decided to just record along with it. So... After I reached home in about 8 in the evening and I I took a bath, you know, cleansed myself from, of course, working and being outside the whole day, I'm kind of feeling lost and I decided I just have this extra time to do a Bible study. Because the great news that I had yesterday was that it was the first time I finished the New Testament. You know, all the books from the new testament i finished it all and i'm so proud of myself i know it's a bit late i know i'm you know i'm in this stage of life i'm in this age but no matter what the timeline is i'm just really so proud of myself i know everything's happened because of god's timeline so wherever i am in life i'm just so proud of myself to have finished reading all the books from the new testament I tried starting the Old Testament before, but it was kind of a struggle for me to really understand and how deep the the books from the Old Testament was. And a friend of mine actually recommended me to start reading from the New Testament. Yeah, I started reading the book of Matthew until Revelations. It took me for a couple of months, but yeah, it wasn't forced on me. It was full voluntary. You know, it really came from me to really finish all the books. I'm wanting to begin the Bible, like read from the Old Testament and again to read it until the last. Because it's not going to be just one time reading, you know. My top three favorite versions are the NIV, NLT, and the ESV. I also have this NLT Bible, you know, the journal type of a Bible. But the main version that I always go back to, you know, to really minimalize or to simplify everything from the bible i really go back to the niv i think it's just the most easiest way to understand the stories in the bible so i got back to my niv color-coded bible which i actually bought in big bad wolf in such a good price it was discounted and it was just i think it's just below a thousand pesos so with this bible it actually has this introduction it talks about what is the Bible, who wrote the Bible, who wrote the books in the Bible, what contains the Bible, who are the writers, etc., etc., and why should you read the Bible. So I got this one to really help me to go back to the basic and to start from the beginning. Plus, assisting me is my book, The Visual Theology, by Tim Shalis and Josh Byers. So this is a book containing the truth about God and how you would see and understand it better. It's like they summarized the Bible and it and this book actually assists a person who is into really starting reading the Bible. So so this visual theology book actually is a great book to start when you're, you know, trying to expose yourself with the Bible. So it actually says here that it was imagined that a Christian is a kind of a spiritual athlete you know a person with a longing for spiritual fitness and spiritual success how it is to be a christian and how it is compared to an athlete because of course being an athlete you're always striving to improve your body your health your stamina your agility your strength but when it comes to being a christian or a follower of christ you're always leaning towards you know spiritual fitness and you want to have this spiritual success you want to have a deep relationship with God, not just superficial kind of relationship. Compare it to an athlete, of course, an athlete would strive for speed or strength. But being a Christian, we always strive to have, you know, a godliness kind of perspective or way of living. So there are actually two ways of living on this earth or on this world. The first way is to live a life that is consistent with God's desires and God's instructions. And the second way is to live a life that is consistent with your own desires and own instructions. Of course, it's going to be a great challenge for us to grow consistently with what God requires. It's about pursuing growth that continues from the moment of our salvation to the moment of our death. 
it's not just a one-time thing, but it's a lifelong commitment to fully serve and to fully continue and surrender your life. You know, it says in the Bible that we have to deny ourselves and take up our own cross. It's that way with trying to live a really godly life. It's not just, you know, knowing Christ, but it's actually following His footsteps. I really like this book because it does not just tell me what to do, but it's actually helping me to train myself to believing the right doctrines and, you know, actually exposing myself to the truth and not just putting those beliefs on my mind but actually putting it into action and it actually would also help me to assess myself and how to put together a plan to continue growing my life with christ so with the bible it actually contains you know answers to the deepest needs of humanity it really serves by going back to the past like what are the needs of humans? There's this longingness kasi that we humans are looking for. There will always be this empty feeling that only God can fulfill. And the Bible also is being used to shed light in our path, of course, in the midst of this dark world. I really like this thought because this is one of, the, one of my favorite tattoos that I got. It's like a symbol of light. You know, it symbolizes the existence of light in the midst of this dark world. And it's also from this recent favorite Bible verse of mine that, that comes from Revelations chapter 21, verse 23. It says that the city does not need the sun and the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives its light and the Lamb its lamp. So it's such a comforting feeling that we are going to this life that God has prepared for us. Also, it helps us to really reassure ourselves in His Word has something to do with our well-being if we really soak ourselves in his word so i really do believe that every person in this world must read the bible it's that significant it's that important it's going to help us live our lives in this world and it's going to lead us to our purpose so i do believe that whoever is listening ikaw you should start your personal relationship with god and you know start reading the bible not just read, not just, you know, scan through it, but to really study the word and to really understand the history and the stories behind what happened in the past. I've already um, read some parts of the Old Testament, but I really did not have read it book after book after book. Another thing that I encountered was, if you've heard about this, this um, Bible project, youtube channel and they really want to help people to understand the bible with the means of their videos they have animations they help you know summarize each book from the bible so i actually wanted to start a reading genesis tonight but when i reach their youtube channel they have this portion wherein they introduce or they help people on how to read the bible and what are the the overview on the bible so I guess I, you know, I took some notes and I really, I really found the significance of having to understand first the purpose of the Bible, who wrote them, what are the basics, before I dive into each of the, the books, you know. They have this introduction videos, which would just take you for five minutes each video. And the first video was actually how to read the Bible and it's entitled what is the bible so they actually talked about the collection of books who started writing the books or who are the authors up to the point where it differentiated the books from the old testament and the new testament so it's such a nice introduction because it generalizes and it picks each point of view and how you would much understand it easier i really would recommend you to check out this youtube channel they would really help you understand it in a animated way, especially if you're such a visual person and you can't seem to picture out what was happening before. So this would really help you because I you know there are drawings, there are pictures, there are, you know, animations to really understand and enjoy it at the same time. So just a glimpse of all this essentials of mine when it comes to Bible study. Of course, first, you have to have your own Bible. The one you're comfortable with, the version, 
the style, whatever it is. It, as long as you have your own personal Bible, the next essential thing would be a notebook. Any type of notebook that you could jot down your notes or additional insights, what you get from videos or books that you have read. Another thing is, you know, I have this set of books that would that would lead me into my Bible study reading at the same time that would allow me to really dig deep into the Word of God. And lastly is the, the use of the Bible Project. They have this YouTube channel. They also have this website. I was amazed with their website because they have a lot of giveaways. Some of it were the posters. Some of it were scriptures from their YouTube channel. Some of it were notes that summarizes the whole point of the video. So I actually downloaded some and I would print it out and then I would study it. I would even answer some of the questions and some, you know, just some points that would, that would help me analyze the intro of the Bible. And also it has a lot of notes from each of the books in the Bible. So it's really helping me a lot. And I hope that you would get to check this out. They're really very generous with their resources. They're giving it out for free. You can print it out. You can save it on your phone. They have a lot of posters, you know. So yeah. So this is me sharing my journey with you. And I hope you would also get something out of it you know if you want to message me or chat me anytime feel free to do so we can walk together with our journey through bible study reading and walking together with our journey with god spending together with our time with god so that's it thanks for hanging out with me and this is star's chain of thoughts bye